Hello everyone, it's that time again. It's time for our chatter time on a Tuesday morning. I'm just gonna give it a few seconds and see if we've got anyone joining us today. But if you're out there, hello, it's really good to see you here today. So my name is Gillian and I am one of the speech and language therapy assistants at the Evelina London Community Speech and Language Therapy Team. That's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? But regardless, it is so nice to have you all here this morning. So if you've not come along to Chatter Time before, let me just explain a little bit more about how it works. The first part of the session is aimed at the grown-ups. I'll be letting you know what we'll be getting up to today and sharing our tip of the week. And then after that, we call all of the little ones back uh, and we start our main circle time part of the session where we do some singing, we have a story and we have an activity as well. So if you are with your little ones at the moment, please feel free to let them wander off and play for just a few minutes and don't worry, I'll make sure I call them all back as soon as we get started. So uh, today, here's my visual timetable, we're going to be starting off as we usually do by singing hello to everyone. So if you are there with your child today and you'd like me to sing hello to them in particular, then do just pop their name into the comments. That will come up for me here and I'll be able to sing their name in our hello song. After that, we're going to be having our story. And today our story is all about a sleeping bunny and lots of very noisy things that we have to tell to go shh. After that, we're going to be singing some songs. And some of those songs are a little bit to do with the story as well. Um, so we've got some songs about loud and quiet. We have got our sleeping bunny song. And we're going to be making some loud noises in if you're happy and you know it too. After that, I'm going to be making some Play-Doh animals. We'll see how that goes. Um, quite hard to do vertically, but uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to try it out. And then after that, I'll be singing goodbye to everyone. You can see we've got David here watching, which is really great. So we'll make sure we sing hello to you, David. And anyone else who wants to put their child's name in, please do feel free. If you've not seen one of these things before, oh, mine's falling apart already. Excellent, that bodes well. Um, this is a visual timetable. Hi there, Mohammed, too, excellent. Um, so it helps children to understand the order of things that are gonna be happening. So it is quite hard for them to picture kind of this is happening first and then this is happening next. And then after that, we're gonna be doing this. Um, so to help them to really visualize and understand the routine of the session, we use this visual timetable. And when we've done each of the individual things, we take them off and then we're ready to go on to the next one. Now you can make one of these at home quite easily. You could just draw out the little pictures um, for part of your morning routine or your bedtime routine. And that can be really helpful if your child struggles with moving between activities. If you do find that they get quite stressed when it's time to finish playing with this and maybe move on to lunchtime, then having something like this where they can get involved with taking off um, or crossing out the activity that's just finished can help them feel empowered and be really a big part of their routine and understand how their day works a little bit better. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a nice thing to have a go at if your child does struggle with transition. But it's time for me to share with you our tip of the week. And this time our tip is to get face to face. Now this one's really helpful as if you can see your child's face, even if they're not actually using words or language yet, you can actually get a whole lot from their non-verbal communication. So the facial expressions that they're making can tell you if they're feeling excited or scared or sad or happy. And that can help you to understand um, how they're reacting to what they're doing at that moment. And it also shows you where their attention is directed at the time. So if they're holding a particular ball and you're sitting behind them, then you could be talking about the ball, but they could actually be looking over here at a rabbit. Um, so actually it means that you can connect the language of the thing that they're concentrating on or paying attention to in the most effective way. So the way we would encourage you to do this is to get down to their level. If you can, if they're playing on the floor, sit with them on the floor, sitting opposite them, or if they're lying on their tummy and if you're able to, then lying down on your tummy too can be a great way of getting involved in that kind of face-to-face non-verbal communication. Or if they're sitting on your lap on the sofa, switch them around so that they're facing you when you're playing with them and again you'll be able to use each other's facial expressions to have a really really meaningful 
interaction with your child. Now with all our tips of the week, we encourage you to do them a little and often. It can be really hard to do everything all at once. And obviously you're not gonna be able to be face to face with them at all times um, of the day. But if you concentrate on using kind of a five to 10 minute block of time, maybe every day of the week or every couple of days, then that can be a great way of getting to the habit um, of looking at them face to face and getting all of those amazing non-verbal cues of communication. So that's our tip of the week, get face to face. Now, just before we get started, sorry, got a bit of foot cramp there. Uh, before we get started with the main part of our session, one more encouragement for you guys. You are the most important person in your child's life. Um, and so you are gonna be their best teacher. You are the one who is with them right now. I can only do so much from the other side of the screen. So by you joining in and getting involved with the session as much as possible, that's gonna be the great way of greatest way of encouraging your child to get involved too. So if you like singing along, joining in with all of the things that I'm saying to you from this side of the screen, then your child will have the, the best possible uh, interaction um, with our Chatter Time sessions. So just a bit of, um, of, of encouragement for you there at home. You're doing a wonderful job. Um, so I think it's about time that we called our little ones back and got started with the main part of our session. So children, come back. It's time for Chatter Time. So hello everyone. My name is Gillian. And it's really good to see that we've got lots of you here today. We have got Zubair and Suhail, we've got Mohammed and we've got David. And if you're also watching and you haven't put your child's name into the comments and you would like me to sing to them this morning, then please do feel free. We're going to sing our hello song, but I'll also sing hello everyone, grown-ups and children as well, even if your child's name isn't in the comments. So it is time for us to get started by singing our hello song. So here we go. I'm gonna start at the top of our names here. So here we go. Hello, David. Hello, Mohammed. Hello, Zubair. It's good to see you here. Hello, Suhail. Hello, Elisha. Hello, Sinead. It's good to see you here. Hello, grown-ups. Hello, children. Hello, everyone. It's good to see you here. Hello, Isabella. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. It's good to see you here. Hello everyone! Wow, we've got loads of lovely friends watching today. It is so great to have you with us. And if you did miss out in popping your child's name in, I'll still say hello as we're carrying on through as well. But now our hello song is finished. Our hello song is finished. And hello Eden as well, lovely to see you. It's now time for our story. And in our story today, we need to be really quiet. And let me show you why. We need to be quiet because the baby bunny is sleeping. The baby bunny is sleeping. Oh, lovely baby bunny. <gasps> Uh-oh. Here comes a train. The train goes choo-choo. <gasps> the train is really loud. We need to tell the train to be quiet. Shh. The train says choo-choo. That's better. Much quieter. The baby bunny is still sleeping. Oh, that's good. Uh-oh. Here comes a drum. The drum goes bang, bang. The drum is loud. We need to tell the drum to be much quieter. better. The baby bunny is still sleeping. That's good. 
<gasps> Uh-oh. Here comes an ambulance. The ambulance goes Nino Nino. The ambulance is loud. We need to tell the ambulance to be quieter. Let's say it together. Shh. Can you say it at home too? Shh. The ambulance goes Nino Nino. That's better. The baby bunny is still sleeping. Whew. Uh-oh. Here comes an elephant. The elephant goes trumpet. The elephant is loud. We need to tell the elephant to be quieter. Let's say it together. Shh. Can you say it too? Shh. The elephant goes trumpet. That's better. Much quieter. The baby bunny is still sleeping. Uh oh. Here comes a car. The car goes beep beep. The car is loud. We need to tell the car to be quieter. Let's say it together. Shh. Shh. The car goes beep beep. Much better. The baby bunny is still sleeping. Uh-oh. Here comes a dog. A dog. The dog goes woof woof. The dog is loud. We need to tell the dog to be quieter. Let's say it together. Shh. Can you try? Shh. Well done. The dog goes woof woof. That's better. The baby bunny is still asleep. Good night, baby bunny. Oh, wow. We told all of those different noisy things to be much shh, quieter. Should we see what we had a look at? We told the dog to be quieter. He said, woof, woof. And then he said, woof, woof. We told the car to be quieter. It went beep beep and then it went beep beep. We told the ambulance to be quieter. The ambulance. It went Nino Nino and then it went Nino Nino. We told the elephant to be quieter. It went trumpet and then it went trumpet, much better. And we told the drum to be quieter. It went bang, bang. And then it went bang, bang. And the first thing was the train. The train went choo, choo. And then it went choo, choo. We did a really good job at telling all of the loud things to be quiet. And that meant that our baby bunny stayed asleep. And now our story is finished. Our story is finished. And now it's time to do some singing. Now I've got a few songs that I'd like to sing with you guys today, but maybe you can help me choose which song to sing first. We've got Sleeping Bunnies, which I thought was very, very good after our bunny story, and If You're Happy and You Know It. 
Now, if anyone at home wants to help me choose which song to sing first, then maybe you can ask your grown up to put it in the comments. We've got if you're happy and you know it or sleeping bunnies. Anyone like to choose for us today? Don't worry if not, because we're going to sing them both anyway. The second one, please. Oh, which was the second one, Manu? I can't remember which order I read them out, but thank you for your for your choice there. Was it the bunny one or the happy one? Do you mind just telling me? <laughs> I talk so much that I forget what I've said. <laughs> If you're happy and you know it, okay, that's great. Uh, perfect. Oh, we've got lots for happy and you know it. Um, but if the second one did happen to be Bunny, um, there, Manu, then we'll also do... Oh, perfect. Perfect. We're all on the same page here. We've got if you're happy and you know it. Thank you for your help, everyone at home. So we're going to do some noisy, loud things in If You're Happy and You Know It. We're going to clap our hands. We're going to stamp our feet and we're going to shout hooray and i want to hear you all shout hooray from all of your houses wherever you live so here we go if you're happy and you know it we'll start off with clapping our hands if you're happy and you know it clap your hands if you're happy and you know it clap your hands if you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it if you're happy and you know it clap your hands if you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. Stamp, stamp. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. Stamp, stamp. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. Stamp, stamp. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and and you know it shout hooray 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 wow really good singing everyone that was amazing i could hear you all the way from my house wow so loud okay next up our choice is between sleeping bunnies or open shut them just to give you a little bit of the tune for both of them in case you recognise it. Sleeping Bunny goes, hop little bunny, hop, 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 hop little bunny, hop, hop, hop. Or open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. And we're going to do loud and quiet with that one too. So anyone want to help me choose what to sing next? Do we want bunny or open, shut them? Feel free to jump in in the comments if you do have one you'd like to sing next. Open, shut them. Excellent. Thank you very much. So we're going to sing Open, Shut Them next and then we'll do our Sleeping Bunny songs at the end. And we're going to do lots of hopping with that one. So we start out this one with our hands open. Excellent. Oh my word, you guys are all on the same page today. We've got lots of people wanting Open, Shut Them next. Here we go. Open, Shut Them open shut them give a little clap 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 open shut them open shut them put them on your lap 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 let's do that again open shut them open shut them give a little clap 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 open shut them open shut them put them on your lap 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 wow that was really good well done for listening there now this time we're going to do it one more time and we're going to sing loud and quiet here we go loud and quiet loud and quiet loud 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 quiet quiet shh loud and quiet loud and quiet loud 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 quiet quiet shh wow good singing everyone give yourselves a little clap there okay so sue hale loves the bunny song so let's do our sleeping bunnies song next and i wonder if my friend baby bunny would like to join in with this one so for this we start out really quietly and we pretend to be asleep. Here we go. 
see the little bunny sleeping till it's nearly noon. Shall we go and wake them up with a merry tune? They're so still. Are they ill? Wake up soon. Get ready to hop. Hop little bunny, hop, hop, hop. Hop little bunny, hop, hop, hop. Hop little bunny, hop, hop, hop. Hop little bunny, hop and stop. Wow, that was a really good hopping. Did you bounce around at home with your grown ups? I like to bounce too. And I think baby bunny liked bouncing after her big sleep. So well done, everyone. Thank you for your help with choosing our singing today. So now our singing is finished. Our singing is finished. And now it's time to play with some Play-Doh. Now I'm gonna have a go at making some animals with our Play-Doh today. So let's have a look. Now if you don't have any Play-Doh at home, it is something that you might be able to make. If you have a look on the internet, there are a few recipes um, for how to make it out of some things like flour and water and oil. But don't do what my mum did and put garlic oil in, otherwise you're gonna end up with some very, very smelly Play-Doh. Okay, so I have got some yellow dough and some blue dough. And I've got a whale cutter, a whale cutter and a giraffe cutter. So we're going to make a whale and a giraffe. Let's start with our blue dough. Here's my rolling pin. Roll, roll, roll it out, squishing it down. Rolly, rolly, roll. Whew. Rolling it nice and flat. Here's my whale. I'm going to press, squeeze, and see if we can get our whale shape. Here we go. I'm taking off some of the dough. Let's push this out. Wow, we've got a Play-Doh blue whale. Let's give him an eye, an eye. I'm going to use some orange, some orange for his eye. Wow, he's got an eye. Let's give him a mouth, a mouth. Here we go. An orange mouth. He looks happy. He looks happy. We made a Play-Doh whale. Let's do it again. This time, yellow. Oh, here we go. Roll, roll. Roll. Giraffe. Squeeze. Press it down. Break it off. Let's have a look at our giraffe. We're pressing it gently. Here's our giraffe. Let's give him some spots, orange spots. One spot. Two spots. Three spots. And Four spots. Wow, we have a spotty giraffe. 
Let's give it an eye, a blue eye. Nice. Let's give it a mouth, a blue mouth. <laughs> Looks really happy. <laughs> okay, we made a whale and a giraffe. They look so happy. A whale and a giraffe. A whale and a giraffe. A whale and a giraffe. And now our Play-Doh is finished. Our Play-Doh is finished. And now it's time to sing goodbye to everyone. We're going to sing goodbye children, goodbye grown-ups, goodbye everyone. Let's sing together. Goodbye children, goodbye grown-ups, goodbye everyone. It's been good to see you here. Shall we do it one more time? Yes, one more time. Goodbye children, goodbye grown-ups, goodbye everyone. It's been good to see you here. Goodbye everyone. Thank you so much for coming along to Chatter Time today. Now we do our Chatter Time lives on Tuesday mornings, just like today at half past 10, and on Thursday afternoons at quarter past two. If you'd like to find out anything more about our speech and language therapy service, if you scroll up on our Facebook page, you'll find a link to our website, which you'll hopefully find what you need on there. But if not, there's also an email address and you can get in contact with us uh, that way too. Thank you again so much for coming along and really good singing, listening and watching to all our little ones today. We'll see you soon and have a great day. Bye everyone. Thank you.